Hi, and welcome to Out of the Darkroom on Adorama TV. I'm Ruth Medjber, and I'm here in the Grand Palais for Paris Photo 2014. Today, we're going to have a little look around the gallery and see what different techniques photographers are using to present their work. We're also going to be looking at all the different styles that are on show here today. So let's have a little look now. Adorama TV presents Out of the Dark Room with Ruth Medjber. I'm here with Omar Victor Diop and uh, we've come across his outstanding body of work here which has probably been the hit of Paris Photo 2014. There's a lot of red dots over there and that's for a very good reason. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank, thanks for passing I, by. I know you've been really busy because I've passed by numerous times and every single time I've done it's busy in here. Yeah, so. it's been a, a crazy week but uh, in a positive way um, a lot of um, traffic, a lot of sales, a lot of feedback. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy I made it to um, to this edition of Paris Photo. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you, you must be exhausted, though, because you're on your feet and you're talking yeah. to people like me all day. Yeah, but, you know, it's um, that's what I enjoy, because it's right. not every time that you have this opportunity to... Um, get feedback. There's critics and journalists, but then there's real people who are Absolutely. appreciating the art. Absolutely. So. Many specialists in uh, art history, mm. um, people who knew um, surprisingly a few of the characters I'm showing in this series. Yeah. So, you know. so talk me through the characters. Maybe you should tell me, start by telling me how you came up with this idea. What was it about this idea that stuck with you? Okay. Um, I was in an artist residency program in the south of Spain. I'm Senegalese. I live in Senegal, in Dakar, West Africa. And uh, I had this opportunity to be in the south of Spain, which is that area in Europe where all the cultures have sort of mm. um, been in touch over centuries. Yeah. So it was very inspiring to see how Africa was in, has been influential in architecture, in uh, lifestyle. Um, and uh, it made me want to dig in further and see examples of rep representation of uh, yeah. Africans through um, from the 16th to the 19th century. And so that's how I came across these characters, and I sort of wanted to bring them back to life. And, and you did that. You transformed yeah. that character. Well, you, you donned their clothing and you became them. Yeah. So it's very much putting yourself in their shoes. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I tend to avoid saying that these are self-portraits because I am not the subject. Yeah. It's not really about me. It's about these people and who, who they have been and how influential they have been in, yeah. in history. So I'm just an accessory. I'm a prop. So I know you're probably not going to tell me this, but what's next for you? Oh, you know, uh, I'm at this stage where you have 50 million ideas and you only probably one have, um, makes it. Um, you're in a great position to choose an idea and to go with it because on the back of this show, you're mm -hmm. going to get a lot of attention and a lot of, you know, Absolutely. a lot of offers to, um, to do bits and pieces. One thing I'm, I'm going to do in the next few months is that I'm probably going to um, expand this research to other parts of the world because the title of the project is Diaspora. Mm. So um, I don't want it to be limited to Europe. I want to um, discover more about um, uh, America, the Americas, um, the Middle East and Asia. Uh, I'm sure there are so many untold stories yeah. that needs, need to be Need to be discovered, discovered. And, and promoted. Yeah. It's a very good idea. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to seeing that though. Omar, thanks so much for chatting to me today. Thanks for passing I'm, by. I'm really, really excited to hear about the new stuff that you're going to come out with when you can tell me. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is Ruth Mejber for Adorama TV. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest online for your chance to win some amazing prizes. I've got Michael Light here and he's going to talk us through some of his photo books which are in this fabulous series behind me. Thank you so much. It's a uh, pleasure. So let's have a look at what you do in book sense. Well, I do scale, I think, yeah. really. Uh, do big books. Big books. And big, big photos. Big, big books, big photos. And yeah. I think I, I, I do bigness because I work with the landscape and I like to touch the landscape. Ah, and so nice. when I, you know, I'm an aerial photographer yeah. and I fly over the land and aerial photography yeah. involves a lot of circling. Yeah. And I almost think of it as like massaging the land. Oh, nice. And so in my bookmaking, I like to have enough scale that one can actually tactilely, yeah. physically uh, engage with, with the land. I suppose the land is vast, the books should be vast as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah, you kind of lose yourself into it, you almost fall into your books. Yeah, 
Exactly. Brilliant. Exactly. Okay, cool. So I'm noticing here that they're not just a standard layout book. Yeah. There's a lot of effort gone into this design. Yes. So tell me about how important it is for you to to do something, you know, that's design heavy with your book. Well, it's very important. I think, you know, I've always struggled uh, with the flatness of the photograph. Mm. Um, and always try to make the photograph more, uh, as much as I can, an object. Yeah. And the, the same goes for my books. And so um, this is really, this uh, latest book is Lake Las Vegas, Black Mountain, and it's one of three books that I've done with Radius Books. And each one has had a certain kind of extraordinary design element. Um, and so for this um, this book, we've, we've done, as you can see, sort of, Lake Las Vegas on the one side and then Black Mountain on the other so it has wow. this sort of upside down and backwards vertigo feeling yeah and then so we you're, have you're encouraging people to engage with this exactly with this book. exactly yeah. and if I'm flying there's a kind of um, uh, uh, connection between up and down and oh, sometimes very much so. you know yeah, I don't know them. as an aerial photographer I often image without a, uh, a horizon and ah. it's quite difficult to to detect to up and know down, which way you're right? going. So, um, so really, we we uh, we also tried to do two separate books for yeah. two aspects of the project. So these both fit inside this, this hardcover. This sort of this sort of hardcover garage, yeah. if you will. Oh, nice. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a great pleasure to work with Radius yeah. because they they're great with their design. So they allow you the and freedom to kind yeah. of create a, an art project. And they're rather game. Than, yeah. They're game to go there. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. what you want. It someone is. helping you along that way. Exactly. And uh, so this is the one part of the series. And does it yep. differ then from the other part? Do they do they all look different when you when you? They do. Them they do. I mean, we can we can yeah, talk a little bit about it. Look. Yeah. So it? this is this is uh, the previous book. So the, the current book, uh, Lake Las Vegas, Black Mountain, is about residential Las Vegas. Mm. Uh, the previous book, L.A. Day and L.A. Night. Um, is about Los Angeles, cool. but unusually it's connected, uh, it's, it's two books <laughs> with a common board, if you can see, right? Oh. So you have spine number one yeah. and spine number two, and um, images of Los Angeles by day, okay. right? And you kind of end, and then it turns over, and then you've got night, night. and so you have day, night, rotating yeah. endlessly the way it actually does in real life. So kind That's of cool. fabulous. It's a constant <laughs> and, source yeah. of entertainment with and, your books. And, and uh, well, yes, they are entertaining, but they're you know obviously uh, the day work is very high key, very white, mm. and the night work is obviously black. Yeah, so there's a kind gorgeous, of nice gorgeous opposition work. between the two. Michael, thanks so much for showing your books today. They're uh, they're really great. They're absolutely super, and I can't wait to get my hand on the series. Cheers. Well, thank you. Thank you. So the night is closing in on Parry Photo 2014. Anyone here will tell you we're all exhilarated and exhausted. So that's the end of this episode of Out of the Darkroom on Adorama TV. Join me again where I'll be speaking to some more photographers and everyone from the photography art world. And maybe we'll even see you here in 2015. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more amazing videos. Let us know what you think, like, comment and share this video and remember to visit the Adorama Learning Centre for lots of great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards or albums, use adoramapix.com.